Let's explore patterns. Patterns can come in the forms of lists, tables, or pictures. To identify a pattern, you want to look at what's changing in the pattern. Then, find the rule that the pattern follows. Let's look at what happens when they give us a list of numbers. So we want to identify the rule for each pattern and see what number comes next. If we look at the first one, we have 5 to 8. To get from 5 to 8, you could add 3. To get from 8 to 11, you also add 3. So I notice that each time they're adding 3 to get to the next number. So that must be the rule. The rule is to add 3. Now if I want to know what number comes next, I just add 3. So 17 plus 3 gives me 20. So 20 must come next. Let's look at another pattern. To get from 20 to 18, I have to go down. That means I'm taking away 2. Then from 18 to 16, I also have to go down. And again, I'm taking away 2. To get from 16 to 14, I take away 2. From 14 to 12, I take away 2. So the rule must be subtract 2. Then if I want to know what number comes next, I need to continue the pattern and subtract another 2. 12 minus 2 is 10, so 10 must come next. The first pattern we did was going up. It was increasing. So that pattern was an increasing pattern. The second pattern, the numbers were going down. So that is a decreasing pattern. Sometimes they give us tables. So let's look at this first table, the cost of books. We have the number of books and the cost. So to find patterns in tables, you want to see what you do to get 3 to 9. You could add 6, then 5 to get to 15 would be plus 10, and 7 to get to 21 plus 14. I am not seeing a pattern here, so the rule must not be addition. Let's try multiplication. To get from 3 to 9, I could multiply by 3. And then 5 times 3 would give me 15. And 7 times 3 would give me 21. And 9 times 3 would give me 27. That's it. That's my rule. The rule is to multiply by 3. Then if I want to know what happens if I put an 11, I just have to multiply by 3. And 11 times 3 is 33. So it would be $33. That was fun. Let's try another. Now we're looking at the number of students and the number of books they need for the class. We need to get from 2 to 4. Well, we could do plus 2 or times 2. Let's look at 4 to 8. To get from 4 to 8, if I did plus 2, I would get 6, not 8. So I need to do times 2. So that means 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's check 6 times 2 is 12. 8 times 2 is 16. So that must be the rule. The rule is multiply by 2. So if I want to figure out the 10, I just multiply it by 2. And 10 times 2 is 20. 